Hi lovelies. This is a video that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. The reason that it's taking me so long to do this video is I'm just scared. It's something that is very emotional for me. I have to talk about the really bad parts of my personality and who I am and who I used to be and I don't know, just talk about my faults. But I really want to talk about it because and I'm going to cry through the whole video. Ah. But the reason I want to talk about it is because it truly is about how wonderful people can be. But what I like to talk about is the capacity for people to forgive. Not until recently did I really experience the other side of forgiveness, which was being forgiven. But like everybody, I'm not perfect, and I'm not the best friend and the best person. I struggle with something that goes a lot deeper than most people think, and that's codependency. Unfortunately, I, kind of in the crossfire, end up hurting people that I really cared about. When you go through the recovery per process. You um, make your lists of people that you're going to make amends to. Before this had happened, I'd had a lot of falling out with a lot of different people. And it's because I was just maxed out. I was trying to be everything for everybody else and trying to get my self-worth and my self-esteem from that and just trying to please everybody. But when I got ill, it just got harder and harder and harder and harder. But at that point in my life, I had just had enough with life. I was done. Like, I was tapping out. I was making my men's list, and it was really tough because I felt like... I know I'm not alone in this, but it just felt like I was. It felt like... My entire list of people that I wanted to make amends with was either no longer on this earth or I wasn't able to contact. And it's not necessarily when you're making amends that you have to have that like face-to-face -face apology and they have to forgive you and that's not what it's about but it was really tough just having like just a few people really I mean, I had a list about this long and only a few people that I could actually reach out and say, I'm so sorry for X, Y, and Z and that I hurt you in the process of this. Through all of this, working through it, I had people on my list that contacted me. I don't know if I necessarily can explain what that was like. It was like the most precious gift that someone could give me. As someone that only thinks that they have worth from what I what they can give to other people, to have someone that has absolutely no reason to contact me, and you have to remember that I hurt these people very deeply. And for some reason, they went out of their way to give me a chance and to just reach out and say, I'm thinking about you and I hope that you're well. And by them contacting me, I was then able to have their information because what was holding me back is I didn't have that information. They just are genuinely wonderful people. Not only was I able to ask for forgiveness, I didn't want to go in with the expectation, oh yeah, everybody's just going to say, oh yeah, we don't care that you hurt us and put us through hell and made us cry for a week. We're a horrible person and completely self-involved. I felt really blessed to just be given the opportunity to have that contact information and to just immediately make amends. 
the capacity for people to forgive. I believe in forgiving people and I talk about that so much. But I don't necessarily think I've been so much on the other end, especially with people that it really, really meant something to me that I wanted to be forgiven. And it's something that through my recovery and through the time that I hadn't talked about them, I thought about them so much. I mean, they were such a huge part of my life. And forever would be, even if I hadn't talked to them, they would forever be a part of my life and a part of who I am. They really were like family to me. But people's capacity to forgive didn't stop there. They're people that I spent so much of my time with because I was sick in bed and I had no one in the world to talk to. And I had this group of people that I talked to, laughed with, cried with, could go to with anything. I mean, if I needed any of them, they would be there. I think it's hard pressed to find even one friend that in this life that truly doesn't want anything from you and would be there for you through anything. So not only <laughs> were this group of people who is DK, Steve, Kyla, Anna, Nevi, Devin, Jilly, not only was this group of people in this family able to forgive me, which would have been the biggest blessing ever, I can't even express how it is because to me it's like when to be forgiven is just like to kind of be let go, let go. And instead of just forgiving me, they just continue to support me. And, um, and really put effort into understanding what I went through, why the things happened. And generally people don't want to know. Like, you hurt me. I don't care about what's going on with you. I care that you hurt me. But these people are just the kindest people. And they're the most genuinely nice people I've ever come across in my life. I just cannot, I sit there with them, I listen, and I listen to them. Sometimes I just listen to them talking. And I just keep thinking how blessed I am that these people let me back into their life. Because you have to understand that from, the, from an outsider's view, I just seem like a crummy person. I just seem like I used people and then just left them. I left them with no word. Like, not, hey, I'm leaving for just a bit, slash, a year or so. When someone just hurts you like that, generally you don't just let them back into your heart. And these people that I consider family to me, let me back into their hearts without even a thought. I do feel like it is something bigger than us because I know on both sides we're very careful to let people in because we're afraid of getting hurt. And it feels for the first time I have such wonderful friends and I just feel like the luckiest person ever and the most undeserving person of this like ever and I smile while I'm crying because it just blows my mind and it really just is a true testament to putting yourself out there and just being real and I think that I can't I can't I honestly can't explain how they've forgiven me and how they've accepted me back into their heart I can't because I know that I'm not as good of a person as they are so I can't really wrap my mind around that. I do know that 
there's a piece of me that has been missing and being back in their lives and having them back in my life it's like taking that first breath after you've been under the, a wave for a really long time I think I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life today <laughs> so I cannot explain the capacity for them to forgive me but I can only attribute it to they are the most wonderful people that's what I attribute it to is they are just quality human beings and I get to be friends with them I'm so proud each and every one of them means so much to me my mind just always keeps going back to I just can't believe I guess like a dream to be forgiven but to be forgiven with such love these are people that have brought me back in that have hugged me that have listened to me talk about my pain that watch my videos all the time that let me come back on my terms it just amazes me I know that I can be thankful and glad for any moment that I'm in their presence to be forgiven with absolutely no strings attached not we forgive you but because I know how awful I was I haven't forgotten that it is really scary to go back to what a crappy person I was and to dig that up again and say you know I, I did this and I gave up on you that's the part that hurts me the most is that they are the t they are the kind of people that you never give up on they're just friends in your life that you come across so you just know I am so lucky to have this person in my life and I will never give up on them I may lose them but I will never give up on them but never underestimate the power of the change that you can do in your own life by being honest with people and reaching out to people and letting go of friendships that are toxic and coming back to relationships that are wonderful and expressing that you are sorry and explain like not everybody knows what's going on and um that's what I've always tried to talk about on this channel is because the friendships I have now are genuine. I talk about my pain. I talk about my ups and my downs and the ugly and the pretty and everything in between. And then now genuinely asking for forgiveness and receiving it. <sighs> Trust me, if you saw me a year, year and a half ago, you'd be like, who is that person? Well, I just feel so healed. I, I didn't necessarily know that it was going to come from that place of being forgiven. And, you know, I thought I'd be like these diving into like my childhood and what went wrong and... I've honestly gotten the biggest healing in my heart from just the people that I care about reaching out to me and being given the opportunity to be in their presence. That's how I honestly feel. I honestly feel lucky to be in their presence. I feel blessed and I feel like the luckiest girl ever. So don't be afraid to be yourself. Don't be afraid to talk to people you care about and say, I messed up. Not, I messed up because, and this, and this. Just to say, I messed up, and I did this, this, and this, and I know it hurt you, or I know it made you feel lesser than, and you should always feel more than, and it was not my intent, but 
it's what happened and um, just be caring towards one another and I know it's a process to share with people that you feel sick and that you have chronic pain but I promise you the people will love you more when you are being your truest self than any front of perfection that you try to put up and at the end of the day you're going to end up losing people that are so close to your heart because you're trying to act like you're perfect because you're just going to be exhausted and nobody can do that all the time so yeah you might lose some friends if you are just like hey I feel like crap not everybody wants to hear that and they're like why are you don't tell me you feel like crap. I want my like perfect friend back that never talks and just listens to me bitch about stuff. But I mean, do you really want to be with friends with that person? I'd rather be friends with people that truly care about me. And that's been really eye opening through this experience as well. And I don't know what else to say. I just feel like the luckiest girl. And I hope that any of this made sense. I don't really know if it did because it is honestly the hardest thing to explain so this is kind of new territory for me so i hope it made sense i hope you guys are having a pain-free stress-free day i'm sending out x double o's and as always i will talk to you guys tomorrow bye i hope you guys are having a pain-free stress-free i'm exhausted now <clears throat>